Hey everyone, it's Kate. Today we're gonna be watching Batman and Robin, the one with George Clooney. I'm a huge fan of Batman. I've been a huge fan of the Batman stories for ever since I was a little kid. But um, I've not been a huge fan of this movie. That's why I'm watching it today because like I usually am I usually like don't want to watch a movie that I've already seen because then like my reactions aren't like as genuine but um I haven't seen this movie in probably like 10 years because <laughs> because it is so bad um at least that's what I remember and I'm, like I always like make my dad watch Batman movies with me um but he <laughs> refuses to watch this one um so I'm watching it <laughs> no I don't really see nipples too. Because, okay, anytime I talk about this movie with my family, I'm like, it's Nipple Batman! Because his suit has like the nipple things. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know Robin had them too. <laughs> Robin's eyes not hurt from being on the motorcycle? Because it's like, it's like the domino mask doesn't have like eye holes. So it'd be like, oh! Mercy! <laughs> That's so funny. I was like, who is that? And I saw Arnold Schwarzenegger's name on the in the intro, but I was like, I don't know who he plays. Also, why was he before George Clooney? Is it just because he was a more famous actor at this time? Because when, when was this made? Late 90s? Should have never been made. <laughs> <laughs> Do a little heel click and skate come out of your feet. Like, how much is that useful, though? <laughs> Like, do, do they fight people on skates a lot? Are they part of, like, a hockey league? Honestly, I think they would be good in hockey. Like, sign them up for famous hockey teams. Sign them up for the Chicago Blackhawks. And then they can fight the Pittsburgh Penguins because the Penguin is a Batman villain. I got mine. Where's yours? Shut up. Shut up. I literally- I hate the stupid jokes. I literally hate the stupid jokes. I know Robin's supposed to be this stupid little goofy funny little assistant boy, but at the same time, I know the entire movie is gonna be like this. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm thinking I'm just gonna call it quits and then just watch like an actual like good Batman. Honestly, I think this is the worst because even the really old TV show is not this bad. I mean, it's like this- it's like on par with this, but just with bad cameras. Also, what kind of museum has like a dinosaur next to like an old mask and then like a jewel? The Gotham one apparently. Robin, you- okay, Robin's such a little loser. He beat up like what? A million people? I don't know. How many skaters were there? Like probably like 50. And he's like, guys, I can't climb with two bat claws. Like, I understand that they're going, like, super, super fast and I would fall off the second that it, the second that it took off. But at the same time, you are Robin. I don't know. Be better. That's why Batman goes through so many Robins. He actually kills them. He's like, you suck. You don't know how to climb? Well, <laughs> you're gonna get replaced. How many Robins does he go through? Like, a billion, I think. How are they surfing on chunks of metal? You're not the Silver Surfer, dude. You're Batman and Robin. You guys... Ugh. I got him! Robin, no! <laughs> How hot is that water?! No, that's actually like Robin's blood. That's actually insane! You know, he doesn't know where he's cutting. Like, he literally could be cutting Robin in half. It's like a ma magic trick, but instead of a magician, it is Batman. <laughs> if he didn't die from the ice, he would have died from this because going from the like, extreme cold to extreme heat can literally send you in a shock and kill you. So I think um, this is like an attempted murder on Batman's part. <laughs> He's flexing! This is me. I actually don't know how long steroids take to get that big. This is me. Two months on steroids. You can get it in my link below. You know, I think he should do something like that. Ew! Robin! Ew! Put your little dogs away! I made a mistake, I'm sorry. Don't go all protective on me. It's not gonna happen again. You're reckless and you almost got killed by Freeze tonight. I'm fine. See? Me? Here? Alive? How are we supposed to work together if you, you almost trust died? Me? Come on, trust me. I'm really good at this. And yet he literally could have died. I mean, then again, so did Bruce. 
I feel like the costume designers kind of sucked with Mr. Freeze and all of the costumes. I understand that it's like, oh, we need to show that he is cold. I think he kind of just looks like a bedazzled smurf. Who covered you in glitter? And why? All right, everyone. Chill. 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 Um, I thought this movie was gonna be like goofy bad, but in reality, it's just sh poorly made, poorly acted, poorly written. Why was this movie made? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I wish I got frozen. It looks like their nipples. Like I feel like they don't have a function, but like if they did, I feel like they'd be like radio scanners. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's a metal statue. You could not break through it by freezing it. Like, this is not some... Well, the Titanic. Oh, this looks so bad. The graphics are... Oh my gosh. Guys, these graphics... Ugh, this was made in 1997. Pull back. I can make it! Disable engine. Do it tonight! No! Gosh, Robin's a little angry. Dick, come on, you're supposed to be the funny guy. Don't, don't be all angry. Ah, he kind of looked like um scary. Mr. Freeze's car is so ugly. It's a cold town. Huh? Like I understand that he's Mr. Freeze, so all of his quips and one-liners have to be about freezing stuff, but half of them are just like cool party. Like shut up, Arnold. Love what you're doing, but stop. I don't know what he's doing. You know, in the circus, the Flying Graysons were a team. Yeah, but you're on an acrobat right now, dick. Um, the Flying Graysons. I think I think it's kind of fun how they added that in here, but like at the same time, it's like don't you don't try to save yourself. <laughs> this movie already sucks. Sometimes counting on someone else is the only way you win. Your head wasn't even on the job. All you could think about was poison ivy. Your house. It's your rules. I mean, it's your way or the highway. It's Batman and Robin, not Robin and Batman. Robin's a little whiny little baby. I feel like he needs to like chill out. Like he's probably still a kid. How old is he supposed to be in this movie? I don't know. He's supposed to be kind of young, right? So it's like, why are you not listening to Batman? Like, I get it, but you're also like living in his house. He probably gave you all that tech. Um, he's trained you. Like, maybe listen. Alfred, my pig-headed. Batman becoming self-aware. Bruce Wayne becoming self-aware. Uh, impossible. It's always my way or the highway. Right, yes. It's the ch shittiest transition shot ever. I'm sorry, it's his parents. I know his parents are dead. But like, they're so rich, I feel like they would have like one of those giant gravestones. That one's kind of wimpy. It's what, like five, four feet tall? When I die, if I'm rich when I die, which ho hopefully it will be, I better have a life-size marble sculpture of me. I'll write that down in my will. Will you please do this for me? Okay, that's so nice. I should live that. No. Like, I meant, like, I would like that if there were no patients. <laughs> oh, that looks so... <laughs> that looks so funny. <laughs> he looks like he's in a microwave. <laughs> but he's not, because he's cold. Okay, that's so mean. They're literally like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Wait, why is he at the asylum and not a jail? Do you think he's crazy? Like, I wouldn't say that he's crazy. I would say he just needs to go to jail. Paying someone to prepare your meals, do your laundry, clean your dishes. You call that family? Alfred's happy. Happy? You honestly don't know, do you? How he's hiding the pain all the time? Alfred's sick. I'm skipping some of this movie. Okay, so all we find out, I'm literally, I skipped probably 15 minutes, so we find out that Ivy saves Mr. Freeze from his prison cell. Stop! Don't kiss her. The victim at the airport. Toxins introduced through the mouth. 
are you talking about? Why do you think she's so desperate to kiss us? I'm betting her lips are poisoned. Poison kiss? She just couldn't stand it. She was going to kiss me and not you. Couldn't stand it. Something was going to be mine and not yours, could you? <laughs> we missed the swing and then he just gets... <laughs> He like flops. It's like in everyone whenever they get like in like a vat of like oil or electricity or anything like that. Robin gets a new paint job. Right. I don't need your help. I'm going solo. I will blanket the city in endless winter. First, Gotham. And then, the world. But like if everything's like if it's like an eternal winter. How is she gonna make plans? I'm guessing she's gonna stay alive and then after he turns everything to winter and everyone dies, she's gonna kill him or something. This just this reminds me of like that one movie where like there's like a freezing cold front and then the main characters have to like run and they fight wolves and like go to a frozen ship and stuff. Everything dead on earth except us. And Bane? It's stage one of McGregor syndrome. What's McGregor syndrome? Like boxing syndrome? Um, filled up lungs with fluid makes it hard to breathe. There are four stages. Oh, it's fake. I'm so stupid. I was like, wait, I've never heard of this before. And then I Google it and I was like reading it and I believed it until I looked down and it's from the Batman fandom, like the wiki fandom. You and I are perfect targets. She has done something to us. She has us fighting over her somehow. Look, here's what I know. She loves me and not you and it's driving you crazy. This guy's insane. Can we like put him down? He's like a rabid animal. He's like, Arby loves me, not you, Bruce. Dog. <laughs> Does she? You're just weaker. I can't save you. There's no defeat in death. Get up to a hospital. Did Arby just die? Guys. She did it for me, for love. She's infected us with some sort of pheromone extract. Oh, is that what it is, Bruce? I'm under some kind of magic spell? She wants to kill you, dick. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. He's so stupid. He's so incredibly stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's so dumb. Oh, she's like actually in love with me. Like, babe, I don't think she is. Friend, partner. Brother, will you trust me now? Freeze has taken the new telescope and turned it into a giant freezing gun. Time to die, little Robin. Rubber lips are immune to your charms. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is so ridiculous. There's literally a Gilligan's Island episode that um, Gilligan has fake lip, like fake rubber lips. They stole it from that. And they even did it better. <laughs> You're not the only one who can set a trap, Venus. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what is that? My vines have a crush on you. My vines have a crush on you. Like, this is so cringe. The dialogue is disgusting. Gotta go. So many people to kill. So little time. Hate the dialogue. I hate the script. Oh my gosh. Slay the girl! You're about to become compost. How did it take Robin that long to get out of the water? Oh, he went back under. Oh, he's trapped with vines. <laughs> I thought he was just like swimming or doing twirls or something. I was like, okay. It's just a tiny knife. That knife was so tiny and she was like, oh, no, a tiny blade that's like four inches. That's my worst nightmare. And you are? That girl. Did they not know it was her? If we could relay the sunlight. From the other side of the equator. It'll take the satellites about a minute to realign, but... Targeting mirrors are frozen. The thawing beam won't work. All right, I'll set the telescope. You thaw the mirrors. How would that happen? I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. How on earth would a satellite reflect the sun? Satellites take pictures. It's not like a giant mirror. 
This is not like when you reflect a one mirror and then like another mirror and then like they bounce light off. Tonight's forecast, a freeze is coming. Okay, fight saying I'm skipping. Oh, they're falling. No, I got you. How on earth does she hold them up? Like her, <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but like if you are going like this, like dropping down and then like you suddenly stop and then you're carrying a giant person probably like double your size, your arm is falling off. <laughs> like your arm is off. Your arm is gone. Say goodbye to your arm. Ew, why is he like squirting ooze everywhere? And that's how the Ninja Turtles were created. What the hell? Hey, freeze. The heat is on. <laughs> hey, freeze. The heat is on. Shut up. Seriously, stop with the stupid jokes. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm taking you back to Arkham Asylum. Show me how to cure McGregor syndrome stage one. Why was this like a whole plot point? It doesn't matter. Take two of these. He's like, can you get me like a popsicle or something? I'm burning up. So Alfred's not dead. Why did I think he was dead? Like he closed his eyes in a very dramatic way. So I kind of thought he died. <sighs> Finally. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're done. It's over. <laughs> um, that's it and I'm done. Whatever. Um, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Especially if you stayed this far because like no one really watches videos through fully. So thank you so much if you're here. Thank you. Um, anyways, that's kind of it. Um, I usually talk a little bit about the movie at the end, but um, I don't really know what to say. Like it was so boring. I'm like literally half of this video was just me just like staring at the screen because it's so incredibly boring. So I hope you enjoyed. I know this one's going to be a little shorter because there is not a ton going on in this movie. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Like and comment and subscribe if you want. Um, but I really think you should. Or else Sir Freeze is going to come and tell jokes about ice for the rest of your life. And I don't think you want that because I just did it for two hours and it sucked. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.